Hello and welcome back to the War of the Usurper, part 10. We have a new king. The young king Stagbrand Baratheon now reigns over the Iron Throne after his father's untimely demise. If you didn't see the last episode, I do recommend it despite the technical issues. A lot of, a lot of stuff happened. <laughs> Robert's dead. He was assassinated by someone. Now, we don't, we don't know who. I suspect the Martell, since Duran was the ma Master of Whispers at the time. I suspect he was at least involved in it, but I have no proof of this. The Lannisters are also a possibility, as obviously they've... Ever since I've ascended to the throne with Robert, they've been... less than helpful, we'll say. And the Tyrells... Well, they're Targaryen supporters at heart, so wouldn't, wouldn't be shocked. And now the realm is in the hands of the Hand of the King, Lord Richard Horp. So, without further ado, let's see how he helps develop this tender situation. Hmm. Some wars going on. Nothing really of interest. Oh. Grace, I write on behalf of... Okay, so the Iron Bank of Bravos wants money back from Iron Oaks. Again, Richard Horp is not concerned. It's not his problem. Ah, we've gotten a call to aid by the Night's Watch. They are under assault, and obviously Robert died in his march north to help them. We will ready the men and ride north. I think even Richard recognizes the need to defend the wall. Of course, he also knows that the assassins got Robert around here, so he won't send himself. Ride north at dawn. Now, it seems the wildlings took Castle Black. They've passed the wall. They have 3,000 men now trying to get through the Shadow Tower as well. Which is currently decently held. Can I not see the siege here? No. Okay. Night's Watch is down to 1,800 men. Dennis is in hiding, the Lord Commander. Osmond Kettleblack is the heir to the Night's Watch. Perceived there. Is that a fray in here? Man of the Crossing. It's a fray too, right? Yeah. Aaron Greyjoy. A lot of known name. A lot of known known people here. <laughs> Black Tide, Bowen Marsh, obviously we know him. Interesting. Oh! I like that. Wait. Yeah. Instead of Donald Noy going this time, he sent his son, <laughs> Michael. The bastard. That's pretty cool. But yeah. Looks like they haven't been too successful as of as of so far. They beat a small force of wildlings, led by Corn Halfhand. And then they lost in the Battle of the Fist of the First Men. Okay. So I'll call him the Northman. This is Rob of Age. He is. So what I'll do is I'll send Rob with his force, since he is the Lord of the North. He should be entrusted to do this. Who are my commanders? Let's get rid of Donald of the Dragon Gate. Donald Redwick. Come on, Rob, where are you? There you are. Rob will lead his men. With him, we send not the Lord Commander of the Kingsguard. Richard Horp wants all of the Kingsguard defending the young king. Send Gowan Wilde of Cracklaw Point. And we'll send Stannis. Both of these men were with Robert when he died, so they might be, they might have been culpable for his death, and if they died in the war, well, who would miss them? So Rob's on the march, plan on lifting the siege of the Shadow Tower, then probably splitting up the forces like we tried last time, to retake Castle Black, obviously. They're doing a good job of that. What's Arthur Dane getting favors for? Uh, yeah, Richard's not going to take care of your banking concerns, sir. You go ask someone else. Rob's taken the Drunkard's Tower. Okay, fair enough. It is just kind of a command in Moat Kalen, so, yeah. What are you doing here, seniority? It's weird. Why are you doing seniority? 
Oh, he just died just now. Good. At least that doesn't get the Lords of Rainhouse to inherit Crackwall. That would be bad. Here we are. And they're falling back to Craster's Keep. Go to Castle Black quickly. Okay. Now it's time to split our forces. Castle Black has fallen. This group of 4,000 will be led by Stannis. Lothar Byford. And they'll go to Eastwatch. Meanwhile, Robin Gowan will go and hold the Shadow Tower. Hmm. I might actually send Robin Gowan north with the Men of the Night's Watch. Just the... Ooh, good supply limit there. Okay. Suspicious circumstances, death for the Master of Carpenter Town. That's probably unrelated to what we've been facing in King's Landing. These past few weeks, Sir Godfrey has been drilling me in the use of swords and lances. The instruction has been hard and stern, but my prowess has increased. He's a fine teacher. So Stagra Stagbran is learning to wield a sword, which is always good. Send these men to Craster's. They can take this small keep, which has good supply limit. What's the supply limit here? Wow, why is it so good? Beyond the Wall has always had terrible supply limit for anyone who isn't a wildling. Coastal Province plus 50. Huh. These ones are also really great, and they're not coastal provinces. What's going on there? Hmm. Oh, well, whatever. We've taken Craster's. He's attacking. He's locked in. We'll arrive in Night Valleys at the 6th of the 7th moon. Ah, oh, that might be too late. Send these men to over to Castle Black to hold that. There you go. The men of the Night's Watch are holding decently. Come on. No, oh, they weren't able to hold on. But we have engaged them. We've routed their center and their flank. All the, all the rest is Chief Dan Than Thanskull. <laughs> what an unnerving name for a, for a big, scary wildling. Dan. <laughs> well, he's been beaten too. There you go. Great victory. In the second Battle of Nightfold, after they were able to rout the Night's Watchmen, Jack the Black Bull or fled with his men to the First Forest. Hmm. I'll pursue these men. Could always take this back, and then maybe take the Fork Top in the Gorge. But that would also cut off their men. In fact, I'll send Stannis right over to Fork Top. That we're keeping them surrounded, unable to push into the wall, because we have these lands well controlled. There you go, we were able to win in the Battle of the Fist. Rob's doing his duty. Very different Rob Stark, by the way, huh? He's just and charitable and gregarious, which he was arguably before, but he is a lot more content this time. A poor fighter and a diplomat. Which he was not in the first time, to be sure. There you go. Fist of the First Men is ours. Company of the Men of the Night's Watch, Tantler Vale, while Fork Top falls to Stannis. Plus, they're going to the Haunted Forest, so we might just attack them there. Then Lord Kurth of Duskendale inherited. What happened to Jocelyn Stark? Why is she here? Oh, she just rejoined. Okay. You would do well to have a kid. Keep. Oh, Rob's had a kid. How did I not notice that? <laughs> I was just looking at his stats. Yeah, it seems Simril Penrose has given him a, a daughter right away. And they seem to get away, they get along pretty nicely. Lady Jocelyn Stark, the new heir to the north. Named after his sister, Jocelyn Stark. There you go. We've beaten the Magnar of Fen in his invasion of the Night's Watch. Oh, God. Gotta run. <laughs> And they've found a new Magnar to replace him. What happened to Steer? Oh, Steer died. Wait, so who was king? That's interesting. He inherited the Magnarship and kingdom. So, Brucey 
Magnar Steer's second born son, who was in his dungeons for a long time, inherited the throne. The wildlings led him out of the dungeons, or whatever their equivalent of dungeons is, I guess, and made him king because his older brother was dead, and his son was too young. And now he's defeated, and rules in the giant stairs. Which is where? Oh, right there. Not bad. Not a bad place to rule, all things considered, but you are going to die more, more than likely. And they have a new Magnar, Lighting. Okay, well this is interesting, didn't notice this. Duran died, <laughs> a couple of days ago, of severe stress. The man who may have orchestrated the murder of Robert Baratheon is dead. Quentin Martell was sent to the wall. This has got to be recent. So it seems Ariane inherited and became Princess of Dorne, and I can only imagine she sent her younger brother to the wall. She doesn't seem to be too good friends with him in the books. Obviously fears that he'll take her inheritance. So I could see that. And she married a Frey. <laughs> okay. That's a... An interesting marriage choice. Have not seen the phrase at all. Stevron's ruling. Ryman and Edwin are dead. So Walter the Black is the heir to the crossing. Oh, that's great. Well, the phrase are just doing their mischief. They've gotten a piece of Dorn. Go into hiding? Someone threatening to kill Stagbrand? Or is that just paranoid Richard? Would he send me into hiding? Pleased to hear that after a period of peace and shrewd management, the province of King's Landing is doing very well. People, people are happy and the tax collectors are reporting record intakes. Would, would Richard send me into hiding? I haven't particularly seen a threat straight away, but he is paranoid. I mean... I kind of don't want to send him into hiding. Have a look. It's the wall. It doesn't appear to be any actual threat, and I think it's just paranoia, which will keep that option there forever. So it would just keep me in hiding for eight years. Which I guess he could do, but I don't... Richard's paranoid, but I don't think he'd, you know, take the king away from the kingdom. He is ambitious. That would give him all the power. Yeah, you know what? In the second hand, that makes a lot more sense. Richard's gonna send King Stagbrand into hiding. And he essentially rules the kingdom now. Part out of ambition and part out of paranoia that the young king may be killed, he'll rule in his stead till the, the threat is secure. Till there's no one to harm young Stagbrand. Oh. Come on now, Stannis, go deal with them. Actually, not Stannis, just no one. Stannis is in the north. <laughs> there you go, peasants have been beat. Uh, my sister, Princess Lyanna, is responding well to tuition. Getting intrigue. Good for you. The fat Lord Aaron is going to marry her in three years. Beaten these peasants, and obviously Richard Horp is ruthless. So, there's no mercy for you. What do you mean? Oh, he doesn't want to. He's been swayed by the other members of the council. Because Stannis is malcontent, he's basically swaying every everyone to disagree with me all the time. Oh, that's fantastic. <laughs> Stannis, you douche. Yeah. What about banishing him to the Night's Watch? No. Because Stannis is just malcontent. He just doesn't want to do what I want. And everyone else is agreeing with him for whatever reason. Oubliette? Yes? No, he still doesn't want it. You are you, <laughs> you are a bad person to have in the council, huh? He doesn't even release him. He doesn't want anything. I guess he'll just stay in the dungeons. Can't do anything. Prisoner Reginard's complaining about his dark cell. No. Richard's not going to give him mercy. 
he can't kill him, then I'll stay there, I guess. Now, how's my council doing? Stannis is the only malcontent. Everyone else has their own agendas. Most are pragmatists. Which is alright, I suppose. Donald Noy was wounded. Probably in the war against the wildlings. It's bad news for him. 95. He has the Blackfish's armor. That's interesting. Why would you get it? It's because the Blackfish was in the Night's Watch for... In the Kingsguard for a couple days. <laughs> couple days. Uh, Liana will learn Intrigue. Yeah. The only one she has a positive of. And no negatives, and also that she's good at. <laughs> Breakstone Hill has declared a war against the tyranny of Rob. Let Rob deal with that unless he asks me expressly for help, because it is a very small rebellion. The Lords of the North like him. Yeah, yeah. Quite quite all of them like him, actually. Roos is one of the few who doesn't, and it's not even by a lot, so that's that's a pretty good group. Domric's still alive. Ramsey's becoming a maester. Oh, okay then. He's still kind of very similar. Except this time he's more learned. I thought Alessandra would tell the cook it was I who had stolen the cookies and make me give the quill back to the Master of Whispers. Alessandra surprised me when he instead asked me how I managed to steal the quill right under the nose of the Master of Whispers and won my help to get back the, at the cook for scolding him. I could do that. Become close friends with Alessander Massey. Justin's son. Well, because of that, he'll be tutored by... Where is he? Richard Horp. Yeah, we'll both grow up together so that I have a close friend of mine. Learn your duty also to the king. I think that's what Richard would prioritize. News from Winterfell, a great trial at court. Ellard Wolf was imprisoned, stood accused of sedition. Roose Bolton presided over the trial and found him guilty, so he was beheaded on the orders of Rob. And Rob's had another daughter, Lady Cynthia. You're doing pretty well there, Simmeral. Giving him a lot of children real quick. She's 17. <laughs> Jocelyn's not doing that well in that department. Rayla Targaryen died of depression. That's good. That's good. Two Targaryens left. Viserys, who's not had a kid yet, which is fantastic. Maybe his wife is barren. Maybe she hates him. <laughs> Rainies did have a kid. A bastard. And she's gotten married matrilineally. It seems the Rain Waters give her a bastard. Alieri's Waters. They don't know who the father is, but we, we know. We know. This child could be a problem. Another Targaryen sprouting. Do we even know it's Driftmark? It doesn't let me imprison him anyways. Cause all my council hates that. Torgan accepted Rob's peace offer. Yep. He's not gotten married. How about Renly? Has he had a kid? No. Trying to kill Alice Will. His wife is pregnant. The Vickery girl. Oh. <laughs> it, it, it might be Renly's. Or it might be Howard's, who is a known rival of Renly's. So I'm assuming they know she's an. Yeah, okay. And it's not his. <laughs> Jane Waters. Well, she died anyway, stillborn. Sumner Hill. How he's. He's, he's not doing too bad, actually. He's learning Marshall. If he had someone better than Desmond Craycall to teach him Marshall, he probably turned out pretty good. Yeah, I'm not going to give you money, Banks. God. Who's the other one? Yeah, Malona. Rob has created the High Lordship of the North Clans. Interesting development. See who he grants that to. So far, he's just holding it himself. Jamie has had a normal daughter, Alyssa Lannister. Obviously, with Cersei dead. When did Cersei die, actually? Oh, but she has brown hair, so... And <laughs> he's the father, so... <laughs> yeah, that's, that's not how that works. I was thinking if she could be secretly Cersei's daughter and not Sorel, but... <laughs> Jamie's not the one who gave birth to her, is he? 
Tyrion had himself a dwarf daughter, Perenna Lannister. And he married a normal-sized Relore woman. Good for him. He's having a decent life, apparently. Valantis has returned to normal, so no more new Valyria. And it's, in fact, facing rebellion. Interesting. Always interesting. How are the factions spreading? Already! See? The Dornish! Mm. She's she's more more open about her allegiance than her father, for sure. She's probably more dangerous, more directly dangerous than D Duran. She's supporting the little bastard girl. Yeah, she's the descendant of the Martell girl. I see, I see why they'd want her on the throne. Also, because she's young enough for them to essentially assume regency. A couple of crown loyalists. Malliard Chelstead, who's probably been forced into the faction by Richard. Faction for Viserys. And why do they want the Black Pearl? I never understand. This is a faction that always sprouts up. She She's bravosi and <laughs> not particularly good set-wise. I mean, she's a good diplomat. It was a weird thing to support. You want to join me, Sir Boris? Very well. What? <laughs> no! Your Grace, despite my best efforts to try and improve your wrongly tarnished reputation, it seems your standing in the realm has lessened. The ravens I sent were merely greeted with scorn and skepticism, whilst the nobles I met did not believe the explanations I provided for your just actions. I'm eight! That should be the justification for my actions. I'm not doing them. Renly, you fool. <laughs> Reputation tarnished. Oh, God. With all the Targaryen support already going on, you're going to make me look even worse to my vassals? Not going to go well. Not going to go well at all. Jason Hyde. I don't trust you. You're in service of Jaime Lannister. Was the other guy in service of him? Did I see that? Boris, who are you with? They were just a regular knight. Which is why I even invited you in the first place. If you prove yourself loyal, you may get you may rise in rank, maybe. Grand Maester Marwyn has been tutoring me lately and I hate it. Learning from squirrels and listening to his lectures bores me. I wanna go outside. Maester, let me go outside. Lost stewardship and he doesn't like me. Fair enough. He doesn't seem like a very indoorsy kind of kid. He's a lot like his father, actually. But obviously he's going to have to be an indoorsy kid because Richard doesn't really, he doesn't trust many people. He's had five kids. Never actually looked at his family. Lester Horp, his son and heir. Then he's got Guyard, a dwarf, who would be second in line. And Thurgood, a recent kid. And his daughter, Zalasane, who's betrothed to a Dutton? I have never seen this house. Narrow shade. Oh, and the veil. Odd. Okay. Nora, who's not betrothed to anyone. Collected ample tax revenue. Oh, actually. <laughs> actually. Richard's our hand. Th I think he... Wh it's not being prison. Why can I do this? It seems exactly like the thing Richard... I guess because I'm in hiding. But yeah, this is exactly the thing Richard would do. So I'll, I'll do I'll do this. How how old is she? Two people eloped. Alice Martin and my rival. Order them seized. Yes, Richard doesn't trust anything that goes against the king. And they fled to the wall. <laughs> Lucifer is asking us to deal with an assassination attempt. Who's trying to assassinate you, Willis? You. He's a he, he's a known murderer now. Yes, capture him. Off to the jail. We did capture Willis Tyrell, the Kinslayer, who's in my dungeons. Let him rot. Can I get anything going? Yeah, tick that, Stannis. They're all returning favors to Renly, apparently. Renly owns the council. <laughs> With each day that passes, I trust Renly less and less. I mean, Robert died, and he got promoted to the council, and now he apparently owns the council. I don't... I don't... <laughs> I don't trust him. This friendly is a lot more effective at scheming than the real one. 
Might exile him too. Who is this council member? I don't understand that. Uh, I won't ransom him. It's either banishment or death. Um, yeah. Garland learned squired for Robert, so he should be a lot more loyal. So we want him ruling the Reach. Richard Horp, you know what? He's ruthless. He's wroth. Kill him. Bring me a, Have him hanged. No, his head. Yeah. Plant it on a spike. Garland Tyrell rules the Reach. He'll be more loyal than his traitor brother, maybe. Make you master of horse as well. He's married to an Estremont, who are my kin. Rather distant at this point. My Estremont grandmother. But yeah, what I was saying is that I'm going to betroth myself to a Nora Horp. Hopefully when I'm around 11, 12, I'll let myself out of hiding. And uh, Richard might let me, as things cool down a little, if things cool down a little, let me assume court again, not be in hiding. Let's see. Can be discouraged from associating. Yes, definitely threaten them. We're definitely trying to keep everyone away from factions at this point. Richard doesn't want them there. That little... Do not speak to me of obligations and duties. I may be your vassal, but that does not make me your slave. Balon, you are what I tell you to be. Oh, a lot of minor lords are throwing their, their hats in with the series. If they join the Dornish one, the Dornish plot, it might have a lot more success. It has 15,000 men and 20%. We don't have that many men. Balon's <laughs> Why is Balon Greyjoy joining the faction for the Black Pearl? That's so odd. Interesting that the Lannisters haven't gone to any factions. They've just kind of been okay ruling their bit. Jamie doesn't seem to want to do anything. I mean, these three major houses are obviously kind of linked to us. Betrothal here. I'm half Tully, which also, you know, my half-brother. So we're linked to these three houses and this one, but Stannis doesn't like me. So Stannis could be a threat. It really leads these three houses, though, as the the main people who can damage me. Martells, the Tyrells, and the Lannisters. Especially now that we kind of... Yeah, we, we did Willis. Uh, we, 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 we... We beheaded him. Uh, no, doesn't concern me. Oberyn Martells the heir. Interesting. Got a daughter and two trueborn sons. Yeah, you know what? I'll let myself out of hiding now. The threat seems to have passed for now, and Richard's gonna keep him under very tight watch, but he also needs to announce the young king's betrothal to his daughter. He's the hand. And has control over this. Yeah. Decided to accept? Of course you did. <laughs> After careful years of plenty, another, another Ironborn is going to carve out a realm for themselves. Tanda is invading Bravos? She just wants the Andal Coast, but she's attacking all of Bravos with 5,000 men. Yeah, good luck with that. Yeah. Sure, you'll do fine. It's like the other guy who tried to take Khalees. He did great. My guardian has officially taken me as a squire. What about my friend, Alessander? Is he a squire? He is. Hey, we're, we're squire friends. Hubert Aaron's getting married to my sister. So I come out of hiding and I'm announced in my betrothal, and my sister gets married, so I more than likely have to attend the marriage, I suppose. Who died in my Kingsguard? No, not Sir Jack Crab. It seems he got the Grey Plague. Damn it. He was going to be my Lord Commander. With his death, Richard Horp has chosen Sir Wallace Wainwood as the new member of the Kingsguard of Aylman. 
Skilled fighter, ruthless. Okay, fair enough. Hopefully he'll be loyal to his king. He's just about to check this. What is what is Euron doing? He's still got Shane Mal under control. And he still hasn't taken that out of the random Mirish house. You seem to like it more, but... The slave raid. You're not going to win that. He should... I don't understand why Urin's not just invading everything else. If he's got the du jour claim as king of the Stepstones. He legitimized his eldest son. Oswald Wendt died. Wait. My great uncle. Oh, because the Wents are directly related to the Tullys. I forgot. What a bastard. Died a natural death. Thankfully, he had no, no children. House Wendt is... <laughs> It's not in a good place. Curse of Harrenhal is catching up to them. Even the, the young lady was killed at nine. There's the link to the Tullys, but who do the ones have left? Shella went. She's the m mad one, right? Who ends up taking over in the actual thing? I think so. Who's the other went? There's one more. Winifrey. Might be her, actually, who's the mad one. Either way, House Went doesn't even have control over Heron Hall anymore. It's been given to Desmond Grell. Interesting. Everyone was busy at home, so I snuck out to the commoner's market, where I got... When I got there, some children were being mean to a smaller child in ragged clothes. Stagrand definitely seems like the more aggressive kind of kid, like a more martial, so I think he's going to try to stop them. The bullies all scatter when I tell them to stop. The small child looks at me and asks for food without mentioning the others and what they did. Is this how commoners live? Pugh. Yeah. Too haughty. You can ask someone else. Ask your mom and dad. Stupid commoners. Oh, I wasn't passing time. Oh, okay. That's. It's my stupidity at show right there. Do I have money to colonize some stuff? Don't really want to colonize. I might. Not yet. Lady Irma Sandy has been removed from the Master of Whispers position. It seems Richard doesn't trust her. Lady Malario's mad. Why do I care what you think? <laughs> Richard, using his powers as regent, decided to remove her. Clearly, he thought she wasn't suitable for the task. Sure, he knows what he's doing. Yeah. Need a new spy master. Olimar of Adadale, the young Lord Pyle, seems loyal, actually. He was a... He openly liked Robert. Who's Murray? Don't want to appoint her. It's... Not yet, at least. Let's see how she's loyal to me. Oh, she's the wife of Sir Boris. Okay. Don't really care. Yeah, Lord Olimar Pyle will be made the new Master of Whispers. Trust the Lord of Adadale a little more. His father did die fighting for Ares, though. You're very excited to be going on your first hunting trip. A skilled hunter will be taking you under his wing and teaching you how to hunt and survive in the wild. The next couple of days will be one big adventure. I can't wait. The hunter... Oh no. Oh no! <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen this event. The hunter tracks the rabbit and gives you the first shot. As quietly as possible, you draw your bow, take aim and send an arrow into the small animal's flank. Filled with pride, you turn around, only to see the hunter aiming his own bow at you. <laughs> Fully drawn. I am sorry, he whispers, before sending the arrow into your throat. Stagbrand! <laughs> He's dead! The king's dead! W why? King Stagbrand has taken his last breath at age 10. He died under suspicious circumstances. Lost to us far too soon, Stagbrand died at the age of only 10. May the boy find more luck with the gods. And King Stannis is at the throne. The Manus rules! Being a talented military tactician, we expect him to lead us to many victories on the field of battle. Long live King Stannis. I, I'm gonna tell you what, I do not trust Renly. He is my, he's my number one suspect at this point. 
No, we see this, but you are getting way too close to the throne. Don't like it. I didn't. I never thought really of Stannis as a suspect, but I don't know now either. Oh wow, that's a that's a that's that's a cliffhanger if I've ever seen one. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna leave things here. This is a new king. Bye, guys.